Oh. Captures your attention. I think that's the really the it's first thing fabulous. about this. Fabulous. This is the, the connoisseur by Quirky, and you know Quirky is all about people who came, it's real people beautiful. like us who came up with ideas to solve a problem. And I think when it comes down to serving wine, what happens um, if you're having a party or something like that? The wine just sits out. That's number one. So it gets hot. Mm -hmm. um, number two, when people pour it, you always have the wine running down the side, and then it gets onto your surfaces wherever you've left it. And with red wine, that can be a disaster, mm -hmm. right? Good so time. you're always worried about your countertops and you're putting down you know something to put the wine on with this let me show you how easy this is to use so this actually has the wine inside inside a chilled cooler i'm going to come right over to it press the button and within seconds it's already serving my wine so all i have to do is press the button till i get to the point whoa, whoa, where whoa, i whoa, want whoa. to stop okay and you're on. like stop it carrie okay so here we go so if i want to stop there i'm good to go now notice there's a drip tray down here it's catching any other runoff off. Again, my wine inside, I'm going to show you, is in a chiller, staying at the right temperature. No and then I'm off and I can go well, do okay, something sure. else. So here you go. You're like, ah, oh, if I have <laughs> to. Night. Totally wait, fine. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. So I've been to these new places where they have wine on tap. Yeah. Is that the concept kind of behind That is this? exactly the concept. But what this is also doing is it's aerating. So if you have Get like here. five different utensils you've been using for aerating or you have a decanter, right. you know, you have to let it sit out for a certain amount of time. So if you're wanting to let it aerate, sometimes it's 20, 30 minutes. You have to wait. So you're like this waiting for your wine. Or a lot of times if it's a young wine, you have to really um, make sure you aerate it super well because it just won't have the right nuances or the right taste to it if you don't. And sometimes we don't want to wait a year to drink our wine. Okay, we I'm 100% bonkos over this. Isn't this I have so many people on my list who would absolutely absolutely be blown away getting this at home. I agree. Now, what, wait, if I'm doing a red, do I have to have any temperature on at all? Because you don't, no. you don't chill a red. You don't, so, well, and you, here's the, here's the discrepancy that people don't realize. Reds are supposed to be between 60 and 70 degrees to be served properly. So, oh. a lot of times we say, oh, I want my red at wine, at room temperature or whatever, but you see, room temperature for a red wine is supposed to be 65 degrees, and oh. we live in Florida where it's, Never well, right now, maybe it's 65 <laughs> degrees, but that's about it. So, it's really nice to have the ability to keep it, it, it's right temperature. So I want you to put your hand on that so you can see. Oh, wow. This is the chiller that's coming with. So I'm going to show you how to load this and how oh, it and breaks down. And what do down. we do to keep this chill? This lives in your freezer. Okay. okay. So inside of this, if we shake it, there's a little liquid in there that when you put it in the freezer, it's actually going to go to the right temperature and chill the whole thing. Okay. Now let's come over to the machine so I can actually show you how it breaks down. There's a button at the front. You just press that button and the entire lid comes off just like this. This is where your batteries go and it is coming with the batteries. So you you don't, and I love that. You know, I hate when things come and, and they don't have the batteries. <laughs> you upsetting. want to use it right away. Okay. So um, you're going to put your, actually, you're going to put your chiller bowl right into the freezer. It takes about 10 to 12 hours just to get this to where it needs to be the first time. So this is where you want to go right to the freezer with that. Then after this is open, you just press this in just like that. And this lifts the inside, which has the hose. So now I'm going to take, I'm going to do my red wine on this one. So I'm just going to unscrew this. I'm going to put my chiller right down in here. Okay. Oh, actually, wait, there's a chiller in there. Okay, they already, you surprised me, Kat. Okay, so there's a chiller in there. I'm just gonna drop my wine in. I'm gonna bring the lid right back up. Now, on the lid here, I want you to look. This is the aerator. So this is what's actually, as the wine pulls through, it's actually gonna aerate it as it comes out, which means if you have a young wine, like a 2017, mm -hmm. 2018, it's gonna actually serve it at the best um, th that it can possibly be. So when I press this down, it clicks in. That then I'm just gonna so close cool. the top, and I am I'm ready to go, you guys. So I'm yeah. just gonna go ahead and press my cup down here, and then I'm gonna press this. Okay. And can I ask you a question? Seconds, there Let's goes. say um, I'm having a party, and can I leave it in there, or do I need to take it back out and screw it back on, or, or you whatever? You can absolutely, so you can leave it in there till it's empty. Pretty much you'll get to the point where you press the button and there's nothing left, okay. and then you saw how I changed it, so it's literally just dropping in another one. And so you know, cool. I had that idea when I thought, I thought about those wine bars where you go, and I, yeah. it's so clean, and it's so easy, and it's no mess, right. and I love that, and so I thought, gosh, if you had two or three of these oh, yeah. in your like, you know, area, but here's what's You know what I this. would do? I would put a little, um, a little label in the front, like a little stand that said which wines are there. Yeah. Totally Can you imagine for that. a party? And then people are just walking around going, because it's just like a wine yeah. bar. And it really is. And That's then what's great. nice is it's keeping the area clean. It's keeping it organized. It's aerating your wine and bringing out all the pop, you know, proper notes and the proper nuances in your wine. And then you know, this is just kind of the animation that's showing you how it works and how easy it is to put together. And then what's happening on the inside. So as the wine's being pulled up at the front, that part that's aerating is forcing the air in. And if you're not familiar, well, like, gosh, Carrie, why do I need to aerate? What is that all about? Wine is either a 
evaporating or oxidizing. And when you open it and the air starts hitting, it's evaporating it and the oxidation begins to happen. That's why so quickly like with a red wine, especially you have to drink it within so many days right. um, or, or it's bad. And so there's this very perfect place in between that it's perfect, mm. that it is where it is intended to be, that it, you can have all the notes and all the nuances as it's intended. And oh, that, and I have to tell you, if you've got somebody who's a wine snob, and you, you can't even possibly buy them a bottle that they're gonna like, right? You're just like, okay, uh, get them this, yeah. get them this, and they will absolutely go Bonkos, like wouldn't you? Like Absolutely. you know how those people are when wine snobs, they're really wine snobs. Absolutely. Like, uh, and you would never in a million years even try to pick out a wine for them because chances are they'll give you that little pathetic look, like oh thank, thank you, Thanks. and then they'll re-gift it to somebody <laughs> when you're not there. This is the one they're going to go. Even the worst wine snob you know is going to go. Okay, you yeah. really did good on this gift. Absolutely. And you it's know clever. this. Is, what's great about this? You can use. I'm doing. I'm doing a rosé right now. You can use this with white wine. You can oh, use I can do it with my prosecco. Can I do it with a prosecco? You you could. You absolutely could. So you could use any type of wine in here that you'd like. It's just, it fits a 750 milliliter bottle mm -hmm. inside, okay? And and that's it. It's it's so simple. And I think, I like things in my life that are simple. And because it's battery operated, it goes anywhere. So it doesn't have to live in just a place with a plug oh, or true. anything. It that's can true. go in an RV. It can go into, you know, your basement area. If you, like uh, my family up north, they, they party in the basement. <laughs> so it's like they have Alrighty. it set up like with an area. <laughs> so you can have it down there. You can move well, also it. Also too, if you have like a little outdoor bar. Perfect. And you don't need to plug the plug it in. No. I, I'm telling or I'll tell you another thing too. What if you're going to have like a baby shower or maybe you go out to a picnic in the spring and you want to serve wine to the guest? Again, you don't need a plug. How classy would that it's be? It's very And cool. you don't have a bunch of bottles all laying around. People are knocking them over. Um, I do want to mention, we're going to get to the wine opener in just a second. Yeah. But if you notice up here in the front, these are beautiful. It's actually a set of wine. Oh no, that's not our wine glass holders. We had our glass holders back here. Oh yeah, glass holders. Which I think are the cleverest things. So we're going to try to get to that. And we've got an opener still to come that we'll talk about as well. Well, so stay with us on that one. Oh, I just think this is so cool. I do too. And so here, I'm actually going to finish this guy. So, um, you know, I, I think that when you're looking at gifting, this is the most unique gift that I have seen this season sure. because I don't, I've never, there, there is nowhere else to be able to get something like this. And this is perfect for that person that you just don't know. Like, I just don't know what to get them or how you said the wine connoisseur in your life because they will love this. But this is great for the boss. This is great for, you know, that person that is really, really into wines. And yes. there's nowhere else they can get something like this that's so, so cool. they're gonna think of the wine bar and you just brought the wine bar to their house and that's the most incredible thing and or if you are the party person and you really want to just wow your guests this is by far the perfect way to do it because like just like what happened to you you came oh. around the corner and you went Wait, what is this? Oh, if I walked Wait, into somebody's, my friend's house and they had this and I walked up and went, me, I'd be like, oh. yeah. I'm like, okay, you score points on that one. It's just too um, fun. How do I clean it, like in between wines? Let's say I'm going Perfect. from a red to like a white. So you're going to take your bottle when you're done. So let's actually go right back in here real quick. Um, you're going to take your bottle when you're done. So it pops up and you're going to fill the bottle with water. Okay, okay so just run a cycle. Run through water and then run a cycle through it. That will clean the entire hose area and the aerator and everything out. And that's it. I oh, mean, perfect. literally it's ready to go the very next time again because it runs on batteries it's ready for you when it's when you're ready for it and the batteries just go right here okay so it's simple to find and this just pops right closed we we, we kept it super simple on purpose you know what i think it'd be a great idea yeah even think a little farther ahead because this is brand new we're launching it um think of it as a wedding gift like this oh, would be a perfect. great wedding oh gift because it would be wildly unexpected no one in a million years would go what you've got me my own automatic wine pourer like and it is it's very uppity you know it's nice because if you go to those wine bars you literally walk up and you hit a button and it pours your wine out for you and remember it's got that chill interior so you're going to keep it at the perfect temperature so it's not going to get uh, bad or too warm and all that kind of good stuff perfect stay right there use the flex pay tonight too and we even have free shipping on it all right really quick we're going to jump to the wine opener sure. obviously